So for financial aid services, a lot of times the students are really surprised by how fast they get finished with everything. So sometimes like they can be done in like half an hour. They'll be done the entire process. So when they first come in, first we have to make sure if they have an account or not with FSA, um, and that's Federal Student Aid. It's under the age of 24, you would need parent information, unless you are married or have kids or you fit any of the other requirements um, for that. And so when we need parents' information, they also would have to make an account. And then once they make the account, then they can start the FAFSA application. And the FAFSA application will walk them through it um, step by step. And then once we're done with the FAFSA form, then you do something called entrance counseling. And this is going to be giving you information about loans. This could be telling you how loans work, how payments will work, and they'll give you some numbers in terms of simulation, in terms of how interest works. You can be eligible for a maximum of $6,345 in Pell Grant, which you don't have to pay back with grants. And then there's another portion, which is loans. So maximum for loans you can get is $9,500, and that would be, you would have to pay it back six months after you've done the program, and they'll be in monthly payments. And then it would be either over five years, 10 years, 20 years. You would work that out with the federal government with whatever loan services they give you. So you just pay more than the minimum payment each month, which is around $50. Like, it's not a lot of loans compared to other schools. Like, a lot of times when you go to, like, four-year colleges, every year you're going to have the 9500 loans. So then that adds up to a lot. And then after that, there's something called a master promissory note. And that is saying that when you take out loans, you promise to pay it back. So we do have some students who they might come in and say they're worried about financial aid because they have like previous loans or like they've already um, done financial aid for another school. So then they're always worried like they won't be able to get that much financial aid here or like how it would affect them. Um, so for financial aid, you are eligible for quite a large amount. As long as you didn't get a bachelor's degree yet, then you can get Pell Grant. Even if you're not eligible for Pell Grant, you are still eligible for the loans. They can always come in after they graduate and go over to student services and say if they're having any problems paying their loans, they do actually help them with that. Every loan provider has a website for you. Like you can go on there and say that you're unemployed and that is a deferment option. A lot of times the students don't know anything about financial aid. They don't know any of the steps that they have to do. They don't know like what information they need. Um, there might be some questions that people aren't familiar with. So we'll be there for guidance in terms of that. Right now is probably the best time to go to school. Interest rate is the lowest it's been in a very long time. And then payments are paused until 2021, but we don't even know if that will be extended because they keep extending that deadline for like when payments have to start being paid again. So I would recommend everyone to go to school now. <laughs>